So one of the great things about going to a big convention is the fact that there is a big board game library that you have access to. Uh, this is PAX Australia's library. Uh, bear in mind, this is Saturday at uh, 12.30, so there's lots of people already playing games, so the library is not at its full you know, morning state, but there's still a lot of great games here. Uh, one of the things people were talking about before um, the convention is do you need to bring games and if you've got a favorite you know maybe you want to take something like Bristol 1350 for everyone to play but there's so many options here we're going to do a quick walk through so this first section is the new in 2023, often a lot of donations from uh, the exhibitors out here. Uh, highlights, I think, uh, Spots is a sort of worker placement, ga a little uh, dice placement game that's fun. Uh, we've got Trick Draw from Good Games uh, Publishing, which I'm very excited to play. And also Great Western Trail Argentina, so lots of cool games here. If we're looking on this section, you see a lot of people are interested in the games. It sort of curves around starting from A onwards. Uh, already I can see over here. Battle of Galactica, this is like a, a proper rare game that's uh, quite expensive and also a really good group game, probably a really great convention game. Uh, but then you also have you know, other games that have uh, been out for a while, Alien Frontiers, Azul. Often you've got lots of copies, uh, lots of games that are going to be good for newer, uh, but also uh, does include expansions. And then you've got shorter games, Avalon's another like a really good, like, okay, we want to play, we've got a group of people, we want to just play a quick game. Over here, you see the Australian flag, uh, all Australian games. A lot of stuff is probably from the collaboratory or other areas, but I can see there's some Phil Walker Harding games, there's some good games publishing games, like Unfair. Um, then probably got some like, we go back to the alphabetical stuff, but some really great party games. That's almost enough copies of just one that you would need for this sort of convention. You grab, you're gonna make friends and just be able to like pick up and play this game straight away big class like table games you can play that's kind of cool that they have that you can try that out this is a blast on a pass from an from packs from yesteryear it was, i think it was about five or six years ago that they first uh were released in here i think what i like is the the real mix of you've got stuff like res arcana and race for the galaxy russian railroad you have like real gamers games and then obviously the same pile you're gonna have like rhino hero that you can just um, play on a table and people who never played a game before they're gonna be able to enjoy that and that mix of games in a library is really great and you can see just from the amount of people here is how popular the library is uh, so that's really exciting for me as a board gamer that a lot of people are playing um, I do like Ratcatcher, but I think if you're at a con, maybe play a multiplayer game, uh, play, make some new friends. I think what we've seen is uh, it, like sometimes there's multiple copies of a game, and it's all you know. Obviously, distributors and publishers are trying to get their games out there, but I'm seeing a lot of copies of the sort of big, classic welcoming games. You've got like Small World. There's a bunch of copies here. Over here, we've got a bunch of copies of like Lords of Waterdeep, Pandemic with the expansions. Power Grid, that's a little bit more, but like, I like that it's like these classic games that are, that you know really should be checked out. There's all, quite a few copies. Then you've got, you know, some Blast from the Past, like with Netrunner. I think what I like is that there is those you know, those classic games like Seven Wonders, Ticket to Ride with different maps that you can try out. But then you've got bigger, as we talked about, bigger games. But it's just a case of trying new games. A lot of publishers who are doing demos will have their, their game in the library here as well. So that you can do a demo, get a sense of the game, and then come and borrow it and play it in full with your friends. And then if you really like it, that's where you can then purchase it from the booths. You don't have to, of course. Uh, sometimes you might just want to play a game 
Did you? Oh, I've heard about Terra Mystica, but I haven't played it. Maybe I'll uh, I'll give that a go. And then just here in the teasers, we're snaking our way towards the, the end. I see a, a bunch of games. Trains is like a deck building um, train game. So it's sort of two mechanics I like. On the other side, we've got Times in the Underdark, which is deck building area control that I keep meaning to play, but haven't played yet. Uh, and at the same time, you've got like a classic two player game with Targi. Like this library, I'm very impressed by the, the, this. Yes, it doesn't have everything. It's not going to be as big as some events, but there's there's a lot of games here. I think there's a lot of games for any sort of group, uh, which I think is what really makes it cool and makes me want to go. Uh, Prospect, have we done enough filming that I, we can start playing games properly? Because yeah, there's every time I look around, I catch something else catches my eye. Subterra just caught my eye over there. Lahav catches my eye over here. Uh, there was Skull before. No thanks. Is like a fun little like car game like. Everywhere I look, there's a game I want to play.